Hi everyone, um, today's uh, lesson will be how to make a deck and I have an unopened pack so let me open that real quick let's see what goodies I get if any remember drag and drop from episode 1 okay torn warrior another torn warrior raging worgen okay I got a legendary charge and divine shield okay so let's we will be done with this now in order to make a deck you need to go to my collection and it's gonna ask you uh, to start a new deck on the side there you go a new deck so you want to begin a new deck and I'm gonna begin a priest deck because if it wasn't for my mage I would definitely be a priest but they began me with mage and I just been working my mage uh, it's low it's a level 20 deck but let's do a mage uh, I mean a priest so I have a level 8 priest deck at the moment but we're gonna make a new one create a deck now if you're not really sure what to have uh, there's a button up here suggest a card and it suggests cards for you but I'm not gonna do that uh, so all these are the priest cards and all up here are the neutral cards and I have four new neutral cards so let's do it with, with the priest first uh, a priest cards can only be in a priest deck uh, silence a minion is a free card you always want some of those silence a minion will uh, make their special abilities uh, void like if they have a uh, taunt uh, that would cancel out the taunt and so forth and so forth uh, build two damage for one mana that's always good to have so I'm just gonna fill up a deck and then eventually as as I fill up with the 30 cards um, I'm probably gonna take some out to make room for stronger cards but uh, change a minions attack to be equal to its health I've only used this card once to my benefit so I'm just gonna Leave, leave that out there. Uh, put a copy at random from your opponent's hand into your hand. That's always a good card. Give a minion two health and draw a card. This is very interesting card. For one mana, you give two health. So if your monster has three health, we'll have five. And there's another card that will double it. So let's say you use these two same cards on the same monster. He'll have seven. Double it, 14. Double it again, 28. Uh, the highest... Uh, life I had life would was uh, 36 on a monster so that one was really cool whenever minion is heal draw a card you are a priest you're gonna be healing a lot so of course that card could come in handy I'm only gonna add in one I have two divine spirit double a minion self there it is I'm gonna add them both for two mana you deal five damage to the hero this comes in handy I'm gonna add two but I might just leave one in there and I only have a three priest cards left destroy a minion with three attack or less that comes in handy destroy a minion with five attack or more and deal two damage to all enemies restore two health to all friendly characters uh, I think that's pretty good for uh, priest cards so you keep going next and a neutral card uh, divine shield is like uh, if they attack this monster it will not do any damage but it will take off the divine shield so it's like a pre-barrier wall block so I'm gonna add in one of those uh, deal one damage as soon as it enters the field that's what Battlecry is I'm adding two of those taunt is always good to have but at level one uh, murlocs all other murlocs have plus one when it dies death rattle when it dies it deals two damage to the enemy hero not really into that a charge at level one I'll add it in there one mana restore to health uh, this power can attack uh, can target anyone you including your hero or the enemies uh, stealth battle cry and rage these uh, a two and two taunt maybe I'll have that in there this guy is awesome after you summon a minion deal one damage to a random enemy this is good to have because there's uh, other monsters out there, uh, other minions out there that will summon a, a minion companion so you get two free shots uh, or two damage randomly but it really helps out a lot. 
like here, summon a 1-1 one, one Murloc Scout. So you then that's the battle cry. So it happens when you summon him. You summon Murloc Tide Hunter. Then it summons a Murloc Scout. And it does two random damage with uh, the knife juggler. So that's pretty cool. So I added I added one because there's other cards that will uh benefit me. Alarmo bot I'm gonna leave out. Uh this is a really decent card. Oops, let me go back. So I'm gonna add in an imp master. Uh and a spell damage plus one guy. Delarin Mage. So I have 24 out of 30 cards. So I need six cards, and I'm only at the level threes. Uh, here you go. Summon a 1-1 one, one boar. Uh, all other million minions have plus one attack. That's always good to have. Give a friendly minion of plus one plus one. Here you go. Torn Warrior. Uh, he has taunt and enrage plus three attack. So when he takes damage, he gets enraged, so that will be a 5. I'm going to add in one of those. Uh, charge, he could attack. When you summon a monster, he has to wait a whole turn before he could attack. Charge, he doesn't have to wait. Uh, Defender of Argus is always a good card to have. No mission venture. So I I'm at 30 cards right now. Summon a 2 and 1 Mechanical Darling for 3, so I'm going to, for 4 mana. So I'm going to take out the one that allows me this Razor if Hunter it's a little stronger and it summons a stronger uh, companion so that's one exchange that I'm gonna do right there uh, you want Taunt. Taunt is a very uh, good effect to have I'm gonna take out this charge one mana for a taunt level 5. This Twilight Drake is really great. It, his health increases for every card in your hand when you summon him. Uh, so that's really good. So... Yeah, I'm going to take off one Mind Blast. And then Twilight Drake. You don't want to stack up too many magic cards. Uh, but they are really important. Uh, I have so many go and uh okay Argent Squire I'm gonna take her out this has charge and divine shield I like that I did that in let's see what else tickles my fancy here oh Gavlin make a torque this is a great card to have. It's a must for any deck. Uh, this card was given to those who bought a pack, who spent any type of money on this game. Uh, it was only offered during the beta testing. I'm going to get rid of Voodoo Doctor. I've had him in other decks. It's it's not all that. Uh, anyways, when you summon Geblin Mechatork, he summons a awesome invention. And the invention is random. It, there's one that turned a random minion into a chicken. Uh, there, there's several other types, so it's really cool. Um, and this card is a must. Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Uh, I need to make room for it. And I, I think I'm going to take out Imp Master. I have a six. I need a seven star at least. I've I've had both of these. Uh, I mean, the fact that they have to wait to attack sucks. But I think I'm gonna go with Storm and Champion because even if when he's waiting to attack for one round, all all of my other minions get a plus one attack and a plus one life. And I'm probably gonna take out a level two or a level one or a two mana one mana card. Um, okay, so let's see what I have here. Wait, I remember there was a level five, a uh, five mana car that dealt. Oh, this guy, Nightblade. When you summon him, it deals three damage to a hero, uh, and he has four life, which is pretty decent for attack for life. I always like having that. Uh, 
but I'm not this time. I think that's a good uh, priest deck. And I'm going to add this Lord of the Arena taunt, just because it's always good to have a taunt. Oh my god, I just put a card back and I don't know which one it was. Um, who did I put back? It was a 4, 5, or a 6. Uh, Night, Nightblade is there. No, he's not. So I clicked and nothing happened because I have a. Let me get out Torn Warrior. There you go. So I have 30 cards, a decent deck. Here it says I have one zero mana card, eight one star. Eight one star is a lot. So let me see if I could take out one that I really don't need. Uh, let me take out one Elven Archer. I'm going to add in like a 5 or a 4. I'm going to get another Taunt. Just because Taunts are crazy. Taunts are meant to uh, have a to be uh, some sort of a tank or a shield, so I'm gonna get the one with the most life, and that's 30 out of 30. And I made my priest deck, priest a uh, custom priest too, just because I already have a custom priest deck, and that is all. I have successfully made a uh, a deck. Now I'm gonna practice with it. And that will be for another video, but I will practice with my Custom Priest 2 deck and uh, I will show you the fight on my next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe uh, below. I'm kind of new to YouTube. I'm not fancy. Uh, I have Windows Movie Maker. That's all I know how to use. I'm not a fancy type of person, but uh, yeah, just uh, comment below, subscribe, and uh, let me treat you guys to how I look with my face there you go uh so yeah just comment below and subscribe is probably right here somewhere down there subscribe and uh i am the geeky muffin uh it's just a random xbox gamer tag that was assigned to me was geeky muffin and 73 is one of my favorite numbers so i'm also on snapchat instagram so and so uh so search for Geeky Muffin 73. But for my battle.net tag, it is Geeky Muffin hashtag 1794. So uh, thank you for watching and just comment below with comments, things I could improve, what you want me to go over with, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So thank you very much. Go back to my desktop and uh, I will be seeing you guys soon. Hi everyone, uh, I am here to show you guys the fight and uh, I'm gonna play an actual person. I'm not gonna be playing a ranked match just because I'm only doing that with my mage deck. But I'm gonna show you guys how our priest deck that we built earlier, custom priest number 2, will work. So I'm just gonna do a casual game with somebody who wants to play. This pops up and you kind of get excited because it gives you a lot of options. Uh, but at the end, it always lands on worthy opponent. And it's like, it makes you think, will it ever land on anything else? And, oh, and down here, it always gives you tips. Right click on your hero to emote. So I'll do that in the match. Uh, it just sucks that you can't really tell them what you want to say. Well, this is taking forever. There you go. Where did the opponent? Did I call it or did I call it? Now my computer's running slow. Maybe I should have a. Maybe I should have restarted it first. Let it rest for a minute. 
So I'm going first. There is absolutely no advantage in going first. Going first sucks. But I'm going to confirm this. Uh, if you go second, he gets an extra card plus another card that says uh, add add a extra mana down here. So on my first turn, I have one mana, so I could only use a card with the one on top. Give a minion plus two health, draw a card. I don't have any minions, so I gotta end my turn. So yes, going second is always the best. Uh, it just has so many advantages. An extra card, an extra mana for one turn only. Uh, the shield around this minion means that he has taunt. Which means I have to attack this monster. Again, I don't have I can't play anything. I have two mana crystals, no twos, but a one, and I don't have any minions, but I do have this special power. It's a heal power. I it, it resorts to health to either my hero or any minion, even the enemies, but it'll be a waste. But just let me show you. I will click it, I choose my target. I'm gonna choose myself. Just because. Then I use up two, so I have zero out of two left. I'm gonna end my turn. Now these video recordings I could only make in 15 minute uh time, so if I feel like I'm running out of 15 minutes, I will try not to explain too much and just go with the flow. So he's doing all this crazy stuff, and he just attacked my hero. Um I have a three. Destroy a minion with attack of five or more. That does me no good whatsoever. But I could heal myself to health. So I went from 26 to 28, and that's all I'm gonna be doing for now. So I see. Uh, so I already see a lot of flaws in my deck. Um, I have too many high cards and not enough medium and low cards. Okay, so I have 4 mana, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to destroy a minion with 5 or more, which is this guy. Then I have 1 left, I'm going to deal 2 damage to this monster. So although I did not put my minion of 4 mana up, Defender of Argus, I was still able to destroy all of his monsters. Uh, Defender of Argus is actually a really good card. If you have two minions out, you want to put him in the middle because the uh, ones next to him get a plus one, plus one, and taunt. Now, taunt again means the uh, your opponent has to attack those monsters. Uh, so, it's a really big deal. So, now I have five. Uh, so, to play Defender of Argus, you kind of want to have other minions out first in order to get the advantage of his uh, ability. So I'm going to move in with Nightblade. A battle cry effect takes uh, place automatically as soon as you summon him. So I'm going to deal 3 damage to the enemy hero. So he, he's at 27. That's all I can really do. I end my turn because I have 0 out of 5 manas left to play. And you can only have 10 at one time. So eventually in the later round you could play like 5 cards and... Uh, it's pretty crazy. So he's attacking my hero. Battle cry, deal one damage. Battle cry happens as soon as he. Uh... That's the card I was talking about, the mana crystal. Okay, so he's doing some stuff there. Okay, so now it's time for a comeback. So this is what I'm gonna do. I. I'm going to play Defender of Argus. So that gives my minion 5 and 5. So he's not my strongest person and they have to attack him. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to give him 2 to health. And I get to draw a card. Holy Nova, deal 2 damage to all enemies and I restore 2 health to all friendly characters. Now, because he does not have taunt, I could just attack his hero directly. 
So that's what I'm gonna do to try to play games with them. So bam, five. Oh, and since I just summoned him, he can attack, he has to wait a turn. So I end my turn. In that case, I forgot. Uh, so I would have probably gone and attacked his uh, his Stormwind Knight. So he just healed himself six. We summon this thing that'll make some draw a card when summon a battle cry. And it's my turn. So he's not attacking my top monster. Okay, so check this out. Geblin make a torque. I summon him and he summoned an invention. Now these inventions are always cool. This thing at the end of my turn gave a random minion a plus one or a plus one. Now you gotta be careful with this one, you can obviously choose which one he summons, but it could also give a plus one plus one to any of my opponents as well. And I'm gonna play this one mana mind vision since I have one mana left. And it's gonna put a copy of one of his two cards in my hand. I think it just did it and it gave me no mission venture. Okay, so I get to attack now. So I'm going to attack. And I'm actually going to destroy one of his monsters here. I don't like the fact that he has a lot. If you take a long time, then that goes and then your turn ends. So you can't just be up there hoping that, uh, ah, this uh, thing just gave him a plus one plus one. So that kind of sucks. But I could kill him with uh, Mega Torque. So he relies a lot on drawing cards, I noticed. So that's my, that might be his strategy. He has a card, and he's hoping for... So his power was to summon a, a soldier of 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. So see how they had to attack my taunt guy? Before he could attack my hero. Okay, so now I have a lot of options here. This guy's great, because it deals 8 damage to a random enemy. Even the hero, it's himself. Um, so you know what? I will do that. I'm going to summon. And this guy has one life left. And that's his strongest monster at the moment. So I could defeat him with my simple guy. So I'm just going to do that just to get his high attack out of the way. And that leaves his hero open. Because none of these can actually kill me yet. And I end my turn. So yeah, at the end of my turn, he did 8 damage to a random enemy. And it chose the other one of her, so... Wait, no. He had the other guy that I just killed. Oh, it was her. Okay, cool. So see, now he has taunt. So I had to attack that monster. Or that minion. I keep calling them monsters. They're not monsters. They're minion. They have a name and a soul. But uh, his effect doesn't take into consideration taunt. So it'll still ra randomly attack anybody. Okay, so I, now I have 9 mana. I have a lot of cards. I could really do some stuff. So all my spell damage will do one more now. You know what? I'm going to heal myself too. I have four left. So I could either play another minion and I get a draw card or destroy his monster. I choose to draw a card and have a minion summoned. So if I attack his uh, taunt, uh, we both commit suicide, which I will do that now. I'm trying to explain everything and I'm running out of time. And I'm going to end my turn. And he still ended up killing him randomly. Uh, and my 
machine just gave her a plus one plus one so that's really cool so he's doing his stuff trying to knock me down he summoned another thing the more minions he has the more of a chance my guy is will obviously hit them so this is a really cool card I'm gonna summon him immediately just cuz everyone will get a plus one plus one So now, my machine can actually attack as well. Oh, I should have summoned this guy first. Because he gets a plus one health for every card in my hand. So now he's at 5-5. Five, five. I got three mana left. I guess I'll just destroy. And I get to choose one with three attack or less. Bam. One mana left. There's not much I can do. Uh, but, I'm not forced to attack any of his monsters. So I'm just going to try to get the quick kill. Because I feel like I'm running out of time with 15 minutes. And I end my turn. And he randomly killed that monster. So that's great. This monster I got in a pack. Uh, and it has the orangey yellow jam. I'm not sure what that's called. I... I know I know purple gems are legendary. So now he's trying to get the quick heal off me. So this is cool. So I'm going to deal 3 damage to all enemies and I'm going to heal too if I had damage. So the only person who actually healed was uh, my hero. So I could actually, I can't play them both. So I'm just gonna play my. Oh, I guess he uh, he quit. In a victory, I reach uh, my deck level nine. Well, my priest level nine. It doesn't matter what kind of deck I use. I'm the focus is on priest level nine. I want three games, so I get ten gold. Click next to continue. Iron 10 gold. And I won a match with the deck that we made previously. And now you have seen a full uh, deck. If I have time, I have 120 gold. Let's go buy a pack of cards, shall we? We go to the shop. Buy a pack for 100. 100, I'm going to buy. Purchase complete. Open a pack. 